What's up, organization? It's James Shu, and we're at this premiere screen of Carrie. And Julianne Moore has not arrived yet. But before she does, I want to make sure I answer all questions for everybody. And today's question comes from Portland, Oregon. And this is from a girl named Stephanie Cooper. Hey, James, I was wondering if you had any advice on handling the stresses of life while still maintaining your business. That's good. Okay. Um, how do you maintain the stress level and all that good stuff? Well, remember. Miss Stephanie Cooper, the emotional roller coaster. Don't let the highs get you too high, and don't let the lows get you too low. Because the truth is, you're always gonna be stressed out. It doesn't matter. In life, we're always gonna be stressed out. We're always just stressed about different things. Right now, you're stressing about uh, the kiosk sales, or you're stressing about Ghana Life sales. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna be stressing about that guy that you think is cute. Uh, or that you dated and he's you know something might be going on between you guys and you're not sure and tomorrow you're gonna be stressing about how someone flaked on you I mean stress is always gonna be there don't let the highs get you too high and do not let the lows get you too low you just have to find that medium line where you're just even pointed now how do you deal with the stress though well you kind of have to play it off and remember when we were old, you're still young, I'm freaking 31 and I'm old already, but when I was younger, right, or if you can remember people, they're like, their parents said, you're not going to this party, right, you're not going to go to this party, you're grounded. And at the time when our parents told us that, we thought it was like the biggest deal in the world. No, I have to go to this party. Everyone's going to be at this party. If I'm not at this party, I'm like a loser, right? We've all heard this before. But then 10 years later, you really realize like, like how dumb was, oh, a year later, six months, three months later, you realize, eh, it, was, it, was, it wasn't even a big deal, but we make it the big deal. Okay, so if you have these stresses and stuff, remember, you are gonna get through these things, and right now I know they seem like big deals, but I promise you later on, they're not gonna seem like big deals anymore because we make things stressful, we make things big deals. And as long as you don't make it a big deal, seriously, it's not a big deal. Now, are financial issues um, big deals right now? Absolutely, right? Um, getting that part-time job while you're working on your fortune. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Why? I recommend everybody have a part-time thing anyway so you can meet more people. The whole point of what you do is networking and if you're not networking meeting people, how are you ever going to find people who are better than you? And if you're not finding people better than you, you're never going to be able to retire. You're never going to be able to do all the things that we say. So that's number one, right? Be able to do that. But number two, always remember, seems like a big deal right now. I promise you later on it's not going to be such a big deal. But you just have to go through life and push forth and you just can't quit because the person who's uh, successful didn't quit. The person who is not successful, they always quit. And that really is the common denominator, right? Because we all have different lives. We all have success in different ways. But the one common thing is the person who quit never had success. So you just can't quit. And you have to just keep on pushing, P-U-S-H, persist until something happens. We've all heard that. And you really do. You have to just push, push, push until it actually happens. And you remember the two examples I give? Giving birth and taking a number two? You remember that. So uh, if that doesn't answer your question, uh, feel free to email me back at gonalifesocial at gmail.com. I'd love to answer the question more in details. But honestly, just try to be in the middle queue. Don't let the highs get you too high. Don't let the lows get you too low. And you're always going to be going through stress. Just get through it. Go through it. And you're going to be fine because you're Stephanie Cooper. So if you have any other questions, email me, gonalifesocial. If you somehow found this video and you're not and you're watching you like, and you have a question for me, email me, gotonlifesocial at gmail.com. Click the subscribe button, why? So you can join the organization. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and until the next episode, we'll talk to everybody soon.